And another point here is that what really makes a good forecast, you know? So we have to really understand what factors contribute to the variable that we are forecasting, you know? Better we understand what are the variables influencing or affecting what we are forecasting, the better we will be able to model it. And how much data is available, you know? To come up with really good forecast models, we need some good number of previous data, historical data. And uh, it could be different in different cases, but normally we really need some good, I, I would say like for, for, for example, for neural network models, normally 1000 data points is good. You know, below that models are not likely to work, but work very well. For Arima, I would say, let's say 200, 300 uh, data periods uh, is good. But sometimes, you know, with yearly data, we use some models like for instance, ARDL models we can use on yearly data using short sample sizes, like 20, 30 years, 40 years of data. So only 40, 50 uh, peer data points. But normally when we are dealing with daily data or weekly data, we want really large samples of previous data. And the better our data will be, the better will be our forecast performance. And another important point is whether the forecast can affect the thing that we are trying to forecast. Let's say if I if I take the example of shipping industry, you know, sometimes it happens that we forecast shipping freight rates and put it publicly in the market. And then the freight rates were supposed to be higher, but before it was going up, ship owners, they saw that, okay, it will go up in the future. So they invested heavily in the market and then the supply was so much, they were really supply surplus and the freight rate never went up. So, you know, the forecast can sometimes affect what we are trying to forecast. So be, because the forecast was out there, people saw it and behaved accordingly. And then the forecast didn't happen as it was supposed to happen, you know? So these are some of the points we have to have in mind when we are trying to do forecasting, regardless of the industry.